so crocheting this heart will take you a bit longer than when you crochet with other types of stitch but the end result is amazing as you can see here uh, the stitches used are half double slip stitch and slip stitch for this part and this part here also so for this hat i'm using this weight full yarn a uh, 5mm hook you will need stitch marker scissors and a tape measure and you can use any type of yarn or an unappropriate hook size okay so let's start we will start by making the chain long enough for the whole length of the hat okay so I will make about 16 centimeters here or six and a half inches for the main part of the hat and then we will add extra length for the brim okay do not make your change too tight so here as you can see I have about 8 inches long of this chain and then the chain one here will the first chain will count as your turning chain okay so this part will be the brim or the ribbing for a hat okay so I will make here about eight slip stitch so into your leave your first stitch into the next one make your first slip stitch that's one two three four five six seven and this is eight so if you need you can keep your marker in your last stitch here your last slip stitch and then for the upper part of our heart we are going to use the half level slip stitch okay so you yarn over insert your hook you pull up a loop and you make a slip stitch Okay, so yarn over into the next stitch you pull up a loop and you make a slip stitch and this is what we are going to repeat until the end of our row okay And you chain one the chain one is our turning chain so for the first row this is what you will have and then we do the same thing and for the first stitch here we are going to work through both the loops and slip stitch and for the rest of our stitches here we are going to work back loop only so that it will have the mid look effect okay so yarn over and back loop only and slip stitch yarn over back loop only slip stitch And we are going to repeat this until you, you have your last stitch in this one, okay? And when you are here, remove your marker and we are going to make 8 slip stitches, okay? So back loop only, insert your hook and make slip stitch. So one, we are going to have the same number of slip stitch 
in this part okay five and this is six seven and for the last one insert through both the loops okay here and this one and make your last lip stitch I will always start my round with chain one so chain one done and for the first stitch I am always going to start with through both the loops be it here or here okay through both the loops for the first stitch and make eight slip stitch so that's one and you have half seven slip stitch back loop only two three four five six seven and eight one here so keep your marker then again and for the upper part we are always going to start i mean always going to work with the half double slip stitch so through back loop only and make your slip stitch and when you are here I will show you what we need to do and the last one through both the loops and after every three row okay we have one two three after every three row here we are we are going to repeat this okay so I will have six chain here one two three four five six and uh, this chain one here will count as my chart turning chain so we are going to have five slip stitch in this part okay two three four and five slip stitch and then for the rest of this part it's the same repeat until the end of the row okay so this one counts as the first row again okay and this is the second row and for the second row we are going not going to slip stitch until here we are going to make our last half double slip stitch in this space right here okay so we count our slip stitch should have five one two three one two three four five and if you need you can keep a marker okay it's easier to see make your last slip stitch half double crochet slip stitch here and i'll show you what to do again and for this part it's the same repeats only so the first stitch always through both the loop and then back loop only so make your last half double slip stitch through both the loops here chain one and we turn first one through both the loops and the rest back loop only and we repeat the same only and on the next row i will show you what to do again so here we have three rows and this is the fourth row and in every fourth row this is what you are going to repeat so please keep this in mind start your round as usual and when you are here i will show you what we need to do okay after every four row I mean three row and on the third fourth row you will need to do this so work your row until you are here and I'll show you what to do so here remove your marker and 
insert your hook into this space here okay pull a loop and into your next stitch you have three loops and make a slip stitch that's your first slip stitch you should have five so this is the second the third the fourth and the fifth through both the loops and then you chain one again so the first one through both the loops one two three four five and you will work again with the same stitches until the end of the row this is the row one after your slip stitch round okay so work your row and i'll show you again so you finish the first row and then this is the second and for the second row remember you will work only here okay so you'll have five slip stitch one two three four five so make your last half double slip stitch in here okay Okay, working like this will take some time but the end result is amazing so second one and chain one you start the third row okay and we repeat the same only and end of row three and then you will have chain one and start the round again and when we are here we are going to repeat what we did in this part okay so you are always going to end your row four with a slip stitch okay so insert you into the next and into your next stitch back loop only pull up a loop and make a slip stitch so one slip stitch two three four and the fifth one through both the loops you chain one and you start counting again when you go down okay so you go one two three and on the fourth again you repeat what we just did until you have the measurement that you want your hat to be or your bed and for me okay i will take the measurement when you fold your fabric in half okay this part when you fold it in half you will need to have the measurement that you want okay and for me i'm going to work about close to eight inches okay a little bit above or under this measurement will do okay because it will stretch a little when you use it because this ribbing is see when you do it this it stretch so after working for a few rounds here i realize if we do the repeats only after three rows okay one two three after three rows and we do the slip stitch here it will look more like a slouch hat and not like a beret so instead of repeating after three rows we are going to repeat it after five okay i already have three here so one two and the one when i was going down two and then this third here okay one then i have this two and this is third so this is the fourth row here okay the repeat is the same only we are going to do the slip stitch in this part after five rows so this is the fourth 
and you work as usual only so here I have five crowns one two three four and five and and when you are joining it's the same thing only you do except when we did only three rounds you have three loops on your hook and here we will are going to have four loops okay so into this next paste here take a loop and into the next one you have three and into the first slip stitch here and you have four loops and then you close as one slip stitch so one two three four and five. Oh, I made it too tight here then chain one you turn and work five slip stitch one and then two three four five and you keep your marker and you continue again with your pattern okay and do you repeat this slip stitch after your you have five rows so this is your first and you count okay and before when you get to close to the size that you need from this part uh, we already have here three rows when we started this repeat here then you make here two rows until this part after that we will join okay okay this is my last round here i made two rows and we can continue making our slip stitches here okay and when you finish your slip stitch here do not cut your yarn we will join both the ends together okay so when you finish leave your loop like that and choose your right side okay now both sides look the same only except that from one side the rib turns that way and from the other side it turns this way so choose which one you prefer and turn it inside out like this one and we are going to use slip stitches to join our heart okay and for this part here we will use a needle so from this other side okay and you take the loop and make slip chain one and we will slip stitch so keep your marker here just to be sure that we do not skip any stitch in between and insert your hook from this side to the other side and slip stitch to the next stitch and next stitch from the other side and slip stitch and slip stitch and from into the next stitch here and to the next here And this is your half, half double slip stitch row, so we want into that and into this one like that. And you continue making your slip stitches all across the hat, okay? Until you are here.
and here you will cut your yarn and use your needle to take the tail into the stitches okay and you take your yarn again with your needle we will okay insert your needle here first and tie this tail to secure it in place and sew this part together pull together and you can do this and secure with knot and take the tail into the stitches only cut your yarn and turn it on the right side this is what you have if you find the video helpful or if you like my heart don't forget to subscribe and like the video thank you so much